you know, Art, at stores like Academy all over Houston, jerseys like these, both collectible and commemorative, have been flying off the shelves. But there is one jersey that is commemorative and collectible, and it kind of rises above all the others. We met the guy today who designed it, the original creator of the rainbow jersey. We designed it. Jack Amuni remembers it like it was yesterday. It was just like getting a, a job to do a brochure or to do an ad or a logo. 1969, when the Astros ad agency asked him to design a new uniform. Well, they wanted something different. And they sure got it. The classic, iconic rainbow uniform the Astros wore in various iterations for more than a decade. They already had orange as one of their colors, and so we just sat down and decided to use that horizontal format, uh, put together pieces of paper that were a sequence of orange, red going to yellow to orange. His wife Heather loves it to this day. Well, I thought it was beautiful because I love the colors, and it is beautiful, and it's a nice design. It makes sense. The Astros wanted a uniform immunity, says, that appealed to women. Now a classic design inextricable from the team. At the time, it got mixed reviews such that Immuni kept quiet about his participation. I heard some negative things about, you know, what had I done to baseball and uh, people liking it and not liking it. So I didn't tell anybody I'd done it. And uh, to this day, I don't think anybody out at the Astros knows that I did it. Interestingly, the Astros made only one change to his original work. They shifted the star from the center to the side. All these years later, it's a top seller. And Jack Immuni, an Astros fan who wishes he'd gotten tickets to the series, knows it was a home run. I'm very proud of it. And interestingly, Immuni's daughter kind of followed in his footsteps. In fact, she is a graphic designer, and she now works for that little apparel company. You've probably heard of it. It's called Nike. Reporting live <laughs> in Southwest Houston, Tom Abrams, 13 Eyewitness News. <laughs>